Welcome! This introductory video is made for the outpost coordinator and the pastor or other church staff member that is over the Royal Rangers ministry in your church. Have you ever been working on your car and you need that special tool that will bend around the exhaust manifold to loosen that last bolt? Oh sure, you'll get that bolt loosened eventually, but that special tool will help the job get done quicker and you can continue on with your project. Well, what I'm about to introduce to you is a special tool that you can use in your outpost for new leaders. Sound interesting? Let's do this. For brevity, we call it the OLO. OLO stands for Outpost Leader Orientation. Properly orienting new Royal Ranger leaders is the most efficient and effective way to prepare them for their role within your church. Royal Rangers Outpost Leader Orientation is the planned introduction of new leaders to the Royal Rangers ministry and to the pastor's vision and mission of the church for Royal Rangers. The OLO is to help new leaders adjust to the social and performance aspects of their new role so they can quickly become more productive. This process will be essential in setting up a new leader for success and a continuation of adhering to the vision and mission of the pastor. No matter what size your church or outpost is, a formal orientation is the best way to welcome new leaders and introduce them to Royal Rangers. Some of the benefits that the OLO can bring are establish a favorable impression for the new leader. I've recently agreed to become a new leader and I get to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the pastor? How cool is that? Provide organization and job information. Right from the start, your new leader will have a clearer understanding of just how your outpost works and fits into the vision of the church. Accelerate socialization and integration. To a new leader, I just started, I've already met with the pastor, and I know a lot more of what makes our outpost and rangers really tick. Ensure leader performance and productivity. In lieu of learning from the School of Hard Knocks, your leader is being equipped with information to help him become part of the outpost even faster. The bottom line is, the faster a new leader feels welcomed and prepared for their role, the faster they will be able to successfully contribute to the vision and mission of Royal Rangers. There are three tools you'll need to conduct the outpost leader orientation. First, you will be provided with a welcome letter from the National Director, Carl Flyke. The letter will come in a PDF format. You are encouraged to print the letter in color. We'll cover where this will be used in just a moment. Second, you will need the OLO Introduction to Royal Rangers Packet. The Outpost Leader Orientation Packet is a 10-page fillable PDF. The intent is that the local church and outpost enters their information into the fillable lines prior to giving a copy to the new leader. During the interview, the pastor and the new leader review this customized packet. Third, you'll need the OLO Process and Guide. This document will give you detailed instructions on how to properly conduct the OLO and how to customize the OLO packet to be specific to your outpost and church. Fortunately, there are four simple steps that involve the new leader and the pastor or other church staff member who oversees Royal Rangers in the church. Step number one. Be recommended to be a Royal Ranger leader by your pastor or someone authorized in church leadership and be in good standing with your local church. This ensures that the church leadership will decide who will serve in their Royal Ranger outpost. And it allows the church to create a customized vetting process and who is recommended to be a leader. For example, completing a background check or being a member of that church for a certain length of time. Step number two. The new leader will read the welcome letter from the National Director, Carl Fleick. This letter will give an opportunity for the new leader to read the vision and mission of Royal Rangers from our National Director. Step number three. 
The new leader will be directed to go to the Royal Rangers National website and review the About Us, What is Royal Rangers tab and read the information in this section. Or they may go to the Royal Rangers National website and watch the first two introduction videos under the About Us Introduction Videos tab. By doing either, the new leader will be given a good overview of the Royal Rangers Ministry. The final and most vital step is step number four. The new leader has a meeting with their pastor or a church staff member who oversees Royal Rangers in their church. The outpost coordinator is encouraged to attend if their pastor is not totally comfortable with this step. This meeting will cover the following topics. The expectations set forth for the local outpost leader, such as attendance, time commitment to events, and conduct in leading a Royal Ranger class, and to be able to show your ability in presenting the plan of salvation. The pastor is the key to the success of Royal Rangers. Having a new outpost leader hear the pastor's vision and mission for the church allows them to come into alignment with it. This will also give the new leader an understanding of the expectation of being a Royal Ranger leader directly from their pastor. This information will help build the foundation of a healthy relationship between you and your new leader. We highly recommend the first time you have this meeting with the new leader that you review the OLO process and guide document beforehand. There are a number of tips that will help make your meeting all the more informative. Once the new leader has completed all four requirements, the outpost coordinator notifies their Royal Rangers district staff of the completion of the Royal Rangers outpost leader orientation. The district will then email a certificate of completion to the new leader. The customized completion certificate has a dual purpose. It not only provides recognition to a new leader from the district staff, it also provides the district staff with valuable information that a new leader has started at a particular outpost. The district can then notify them directly when they send their certificate of upcoming district and national training events. The National Office wants to extend a special thank you to Kurt Griffiths. Kurt is the District Outreach Coordinator for the Arkansas District. While exercising his duties as the District Outreach Coordinator, Kurt conducted several interviews with pastors and new leaders in his district. It became apparent to him that we needed an onboarding tool so our new leaders could integrate into their outposts sooner rather than waiting for the next available Ranger Basics. That's it in a nutshell. I want to thank you for your time in watching this presentation and I want to especially thank you for your investment in our future men through the Royal Rangers Ministry. Please note that the OLO is not a requirement or prerequisite of any of the Ranger Ministry Academy courses such as Ranger Basics or Essentials. This is a tool to be used at the outpost level for the benefit of your new leader and ultimately, your ministry.